Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another elegant lady beading tutorial, this time for a bracelet. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell because usually I make matching jewelry like these earrings and you will be able to make beautiful sets. Please like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. You will find useful links in description, including for these earrings. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check at the join button or in description. Thank you so much for watching, now let's start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using for this video are Super Duo or you could also use twin beads. In this case, I'm using them in white color. These are 11 golden beads. You could use 10 if you want. Here I'm using clasp, toggle clasp and two jump rings. This is new bond thread, which is close to the nylon thread, although it splits in two. Uh, it is much less expensive and I use it for some of my projects. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 or size 10. And here I'm using scissors and these are flat nose pliers. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle. And if I need to later, I will add more thread and uh, I will start. Okay, my friends, and I'm starting my work by picking up one golden bead. By the way, if you have done the earrings, it will be easy for you because it is absolutely uh, the same thing I'm doing with the central part of the bracelet. Okay, this is a stopper bead that I just added here. In my next step, guys, I'm taking three super dual beads, sliding those down. And uh, what I want to do in my next step is arrange them like this. Two are pointing in one direction and the middle one is pointing in the other direction. And after that I'm going in the other empty hole of the same super do I'm exiting out of, you see. I'm holding it with my thumb so it won't go down, but I will I'm showing yet what happens here. And I take one super do, go in the next one, just like this. And then I go back through three of those beautiful super dual beads and this is the first element after that guys I take one golden bead and one super dual slide those down and turn it in this direction then I'm doing the same thing as I did before I'm going through the empty hole of this super dual and backwards, take another golden one, go through this, just like that. Then I'm going through a super do, a golden bead and a super do. Okay, and I take two super do's. Slide those down like this, turn it in this direction and go through the super do and take one, go backwards, and then one more time backwards through these three super do's. Okay, 
Then my friends, I will repeat absolutely the same thing, a golden one and a super duo. Sliding those down. Then going through the empty hole of the same super duo and going backwards. After that, I'm pulling it to my work. Take just one golden super duo and go back like this. Okay, then I take two beads, slide those down, and take another one, go like this. Here I have a third element. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm doing the fourth element absolutely the same way. And after that, I will let you do this by yourself. I will make 21 elements. This is for my wrist. If you prefer a larger or a smaller bracelet, you could do more or less of those elements. Okay, I take two, arrange them so one is pointing down and one is pointing up, go through the empty hole of the same element and, and pull it nicely, take one super duo, go backwards through this super duo. And then through these three super dos. Now guys, this is what I have. And I will continue as I said until I have 21 of those elements. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind from the beginning. Do this and I'll be back. Okay, my friends. And I just did the 21st element here. Now, what I want to do next is make a loop uh, with seed beads and here is where I'm going to attach my jump ring and my clasp later okay as I'm exiting from, from one of those beads I'm going here in the other one uh, in the same one but at the other hole I mean okay and I have this now what I want to do is to reinforce this loop that I have here one more time. And after that, I want to reposition my thread, guys, okay? I'm exiting out of this bit. I will turn my work in this direction. Then I'm going through these two beads, through this one that is sticking out the most. And then I want to go through its other empty hole and change direction. This is a wanted effect, changing direction. And what I want to do next, guys, is take one golden bead, one super duo, and three golden beads. I'm sliding those down. Then I go through the empty hole of this same super duo. And I take one golden and go in the next super duo.
then I take the same sequence, one golden, one super duo and three goldens. Slide this down. Go in the empty hole of the same super duo. You see what I did. Exiting from this hole, this three, and then from the other hole. And then I'm taking one golden. And I'm going in the next super duo. Okay, now this is what I have. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And then I do the same thing. I take one seed bead, one super duo and three seed beads. I slide this one down. And I go in the empty hole of this super duo and take one golden. And then I go like this. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and as I continue beading, here I am at the last step of my of this row. And I'm pulling and just like before I'm taking here one seed bead and I'm finishing this. Okay and as you may see here I already removed uh, this stopper bead because I don't need it anymore. And now what I want to do is exit here guys. and add another loop of beads. Okay, I'm taking six beads and going back like this. Then I'm reinforcing this part. Okay. I exit here where my tail thread is. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. Going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. Then I'm going here like this and I'm cutting both of those tail threads as close as possible to my work uh, and you could burn it with a zipper if you want okay and I'm going to take another arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back Okay, my friends, and here I have another long thread on my needle and I want to attach it here to my work. Okay, I'm choosing a place, let's say here. You could choose another place if you want. I'm going twice through the loop I've made, I'm pulling. Then I'm going through these two super dos here. And then I zigzag exiting out of the empty hole of the same super do. And here what I want to do is to cut this tail thread. Okay. Then I take the same thing, one uh, golden bead, one super duo and three golden beads. Slide it down. Go through the empty hole of the same super duo. Take another C bead and go here. 
like this. Okay, I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Sliding down the same sequence as before, going through the empty hole of this super duo and one golden. Okay, I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step from this row where I'm adding the last golden bead here. And what I want to do next is some thread repositioning. So I'm going in this direction. I will turn my work like this to be easier for me. Then I go through these two super jaws. If you have been too many times through them, it's a good idea to use your pliers if you can't go. Then I go here. And my goal, guys, is to exit in this direction and after these three silver beads. Oh, sorry, golden beads. And I'm taking two goldens. And I go like this. Then through all of those three. Take two goldens. And go like this. And I'm going to continue these guys, two goldens everywhere until I finish this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Now, what I want to do is transfer at the other side and do the same thing, okay? I'm just zigzagging through my beads. Turning my work the way it's easier for me. And now I will repeat this thing from this side. Okay. Adding two. Adding two. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last two beads from this row. Then what I want to do is go in this direction and I'm making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling, just like this, and cutting this tail thread. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is to open this jump ring, put it here, then put my clasp and squeeze back, okay? 
this is what I have and I will repeat it from the other side okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good, good idea to subscribe and another reason to do this is that I have matching earrings and you will be able to make beautiful sets to be notified when I make them and to be ready with your presents for the holidays please like share and comment also you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching